Hey guys, the objective for this video is to discuss the formula for equivalent axial force to direct stress acting over a cross section. So if we have a look um, at our stress block. Um, so our stress is going to act over the, uh, the cross section um, of the section that we're looking at. And um, the equivalent force or the equivalent axial force is going to be equal to the integral of the area multiplied by our um, shear stress. So in the uniform case, this just can be simplified down to the stress is equal to the force divided by the area. Or if you want to work out what the force is, or the equivalent axial force, that'll just be the stress multiplied by the area. Now this only works um, in the uniform case, uh, because that's when we're going to have constant uh, shear stress acting over our section. When we've got changing shear stress, we'll still need to use this formula or we'll need to use um, a simplified version of um, this formula. Uh, essentially what this formula is saying is that the volume, um, the equivalent force or the equivalent axial force is equal to the volume of our stress distribution because we're acting over area A and um, we've got a height, so I guess base Area is A, and then we've got a height of um, uh, sigma, which is our stress. And the magnitude of our resultant force is going to act uh, through the centroid of our distribution. So for just this complex uh, uniform distribution here, well, then it's just going to act through the center or the centroid of our section. But that won't be the case um, for other distributions. It might act um, through a point other.